so we just finished the introduction on how Helichrism is grown here in Croatia. They have invited us to join them in the farm, the actual setup that they have here. And they also asked us to participate in the planting activities that they have. So this is the field. They said that they farm every March or April and September. And now it's June, so probably the helichrysum is, is at its infancy stage. It's quite young. The plants are still sprouting from their roots. But I think we will see over there by the farmhouse where the seedlings are. Okay, so tara sama kayo sa amin para makita niyo. Oh, di ba? Tas ba ada one, two, three, pa? Oh, di ba? All right, so right now they want us to plant some helichrysum ourselves in the same patch of land that Gary planted helichrysum back in 2015. So it's such an honor to do this. This is the helichrysum seedling. All right, let's do this. Hi, Mr. Edge. Hello. Hello. Ayan. Oh, mga ano natin, mga madam nagtatanim. Oh. Baby Helly. Yes. Love, healing, peace, and harmony. Help heal the world. Yes. Spread health and multiply. Correct. Hmm, di ba? So this is the same patch of land where Gary planted Helligrosum back in 2015. Sabi ko, paano magtanim? I know, mga three inches. <laughs> I think we have uh, gotten our fill of photos for the, the month. <laughs> That's how much uh, we took our time at the fields. So right now we're having our brunch here at the tent that they have set up for us. And of course, a sumptuous meal from the Young Living Silver Retreat team. So I can't wait to eat and look at the view while we're having our lunch. I'll show you. YL organized for us. So they said there's going to be a surprise later on. So ano kaya yung surprise? Surprise. Biglang humaba yung buhok. Kaya magulat. Pagka 
may biglang mga ganun. <laughs> may mga pag ganun si Mayo. Ganda, pakita ko sa inyo. Wait lang. I think if you would have like built a place for something like this, it could have been built more beautiful like tonight and the weather is amazing and the odors are brilliant already. So, but before we come to the dinner, um, I want to give the word to someone you already seen today and who still has a special message to all of you. So please give a hand to our dear president, Kristen Todd. Thank you, Bastian. Double Reche, everyone. That's good evening in Croatia. And welcome to the beautiful village square of Sydney. What an amazing place to finish up our silver retreat in Croatia, the inaugural silver retreat. Isn't it fabulous? Don't you just love this history? Absolutely beautiful. And voila to all of the local people in Sibenik for making us so welcome. We really appreciate it. Thank you. 
My new friend Nicola, <laughs> and he's helping me get my car so I can drive myself to Dubrovnik today. They're so helpful. So if ever you're in Shibenik, just go to their place. I'll show you the address on the comment section below. Just let me know if you have questions. All right, guys. Can you come to Dubrovnik with me, Nicola, instead? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. He has work today, guys. So we're going to the car. Nicola is driving you so we can see the car. Can you say that again for the camera? Uh, Indonesian people and the people from the Philippines are uh, the most easy people to work with. See? We're very happy people. We're from the <laughs> islands. So if in Croatia you have a thousand islands, in yeah. our country we have 7,000. Oh my god. Yeah, we have the best beaches. You should Google that and see how beautiful our country is. Hi guys, good morning. So I got the car already. And we're all set to go to Dubrovnik. But first, we are going to make a quick stop. Not quick, but maybe a couple of hours at Kirka National Park. Since it's only 18 minutes away from our hotel here in Amadria Park in Shibenik. So I'm just waiting for my friends to join me up until uh, Kirka and then Split. Then I'm going to leave them at Split. And I'm driving myself all alone all the way to Dubrovnik. So join me. This is going to be a first for me driving alone in a foreign country. This is quite an adventure. So I'm super excited, but at the same time, quite anxious. But we'll see what, uh, what is in store for us. So join me. 
Mapapabili ka dyan, Tina, pag sumampol ka. Thank you. Welcome Thank back. <laughs> Nahihiya ako. <laughs> <laughs> Nahihiya siya, pero may pakliwid siyang mayor. Oh. Ayan! Hindi nahihiya ako tumanggi. Oh, uh, mabait sa sila So you don't have to worry when you come here because there are lots of food stalls if you get hungry. And it's an easy walk. Hindi siya Hagard Mars. Oh, ito ba yung entrance? Tama ba? Tanongin natin if we can exchange our tickets here. This is the welcome area. So, ayan. If you go to Kirka, you will see this. And if you have a voucher, you will exchange it to a ticket before you go to the entrance. Und frag mal, wo wir lang müssen. Kannst du bitte fragen, wo wir lang müssen, wenn wir erstmal. Alright, so we decided to take the boat instead of walking all the way to the main waterfall. And after you pay your ticket, they will give you a. Uh, a uh, paper like this with the the QR code or the the barcode so you can enter the boat right and this is what the boat looks like see hi they have a marina here and the marina has a lot of private boats aside from the boat that will take you all the way to Karaka naglalakad, nagpapakapagod, diba? Tapos kami, bangka-bangka, gano'n. Chill lang. Oo. Pwede naman palang gano'n. Lakas mga <laughs> kasyala. Hindi <laughs> na kayong maglakad kung ayaw nyo. Pwede naman pala. Yung bangka-bangka. Ten, Ten ko na lang. Okay na yan. Sa Tesco. Seven. Seven times seven. <laughs> times seven lang. Times seven lang. Oh, hundred forty. Twenty. Wala na lakad. Oh, hundred forty. Hindi ka na maglalakad. Ano mas gusto mo? Diba? O, oh, pakita natin yung view sa mga subscribers. Sobrang ganda naman dito. Pumukota sa ganda. Tabing ilog eh, oh. Sa ilog. Bu dito, Mars left. Mamaya, pag pa, ano, pabalik tayo, magpicture tayo sa mga ganyan. Hindi mo na nakita sila PJ kanina. Ikaw, nakita mo pa. No, over breakfast, so... Oh. Pag nag-a-alarm yung telepono ko, parang mamaya na. <laughs> Masyakit pa yung show, ah.
So right now, I think this is the border crossing between Croatia and Bosnia. We are going through another country for 11 kilometers and then we need to show our travel documents, my passport, and uh, do a bit of an interview with the immigration officer. This is just for 11 kilometers until we pass through Bosnia and then back again to Croatia to continue our journey to Dubrovnik. So. Just like that, we are back in Europe. We are already on the road to Dubrovnik with just an hour left in our 